Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Justina. And for today's tutorial, we're gonna be playing with Kylie Cosmetics products. Lately, she's came out with a lot of products that we can incorporate in our makeup routine. And I definitely wanted to try them out and just see my thoughts on them and whether I would incorporate them in my makeup routine. So if you're interested on my thoughts and how I felt about them, then continue watching. To start with, I'm gonna be going in with this Kylie eyeshadow palette. This is the spring eyeshadow palette and these are the shades. I'm gonna be using the lighter pink shades. So I'm gonna say like this shade, this shade, and possibly this in the center or this. I'm not too sure yet. So I'm just taking this Wet n Wild concealer and I'm laying it down as our eyeshadow primer and then we're gonna go in with the eyeshadows. So I'm gonna go into this shade, it's very creamy. This is Sorbet. This is the shade Seashell right here. And then this is the shade Peachy. It's also a really nice payoff. So I'm thinking about these three colors going on my eyes. And so I'm just gonna swatch them. So this is Sorbet. This is Seashell. And then this being peachy. So those are the three shades. My swatches suck, so forgive me. But so far, it does look promising. It does look like there's payoff and it could be very buttery. So I was saying in the beginning that I'm gonna be going in with these three shades right here. So to begin, I'm gonna be going in with this shade right here and it's named Sorbet. So on my M433 brush, I have the shade Sorbet and I'm just gonna go in circular motions and wash this through my upper crease area. So it is very light, so I'm gonna dip back into that shade and go once more. So right now I just keep dipping into the shade Sorbet and I'm just taking this and rounding out the shadow in my upper crease area and then taking it down the lid but leaving a space in between here. In person, it looks very orangey, but on my monitor it's coming off a bit more peachy. So next I'm gonna be taking this shade right here, peachy, with my M433 brush and I'm gonna take this in my crease area. So I just wanna make sure that I'm remaining in the crease area, but I wanna stay pretty low and just hug the crease. And I honestly love the way that this shade just gave it more intensity. That shade was really pigmented, so I am just gonna stick with what I laid down already and just keep buffing it out. So I feel like this is looking cute. It's minimal, like I never do minimal. So we're gonna be taking this shade right here, Seashell, and I'm just gonna place this on my lid and see how it goes, and if not, I'll be using, oh, it's so pretty. I thought that a brush might be needed and I was a little scared with how it's swatched, but it's looking very pretty. Okay, okay. I'm not mad at it. So I feel like this is really exciting because I'm gonna be going in with Kylie products and the fact that I brought every product that she has in a sense so that way we can use all over our face so i'm really excited for that but before we go in with those products i'm going to be going in with primer and to start this is the j1 jelly pack and this is a gripping primer so i'm just going to place this on my fingertips rub it in it is sticky so i'm just going to push that into the face So I have the J1 Jelly Pack all over me. This is very sticky and tacky. I don't want to say sticky, but it is a gripping primer. So you can like tap your face and then you feel like a, a bit sticky. But also, can we just state like the glow that it instantly just gave me? So before I go in with primer, I'm going to be highlighting with this MAC Strobe Cream and this is in the shade Gold Light. Lately, I have just been squeezing the tube and taking my ring finger, dabbing it a bit, and then just going on the high points of my cheeks, like mostly where I would highlight, I just 
take it all over. So I'm going to be going in with this Josie Mary concealer and this is in the shade Electric. It is a little light for me so I'm just going to pump this on the back. Actually it, it might no, okay, it's a little light. I lied. Mm. So then I'm going to go in with this ColourPop concealer just because it's a bit darker. So I have these two foundation shades on my face. I'm going to go in with this Morphe brush. It doesn't have a number. I'm just going to swirl this together and then just go in. I usually never use a brush, so I don't know why I'm using a brush. I probably will use a beauty blender over this afterwards. I always feel like with a brush it can come off a bit streaky. I'm just gonna take what's left of that on my hand and dab this all in. So right now is what we're all excited for, what we've all been waiting for. I'm super excited. So this box came in and obviously the pink, something that I would do, love that. Kylie products, I haven't even opened the box yet. So this is what it looks like. It says Kylie in the inside, styrofoam, my invoice, a picture of Kylie to jerk off to. And it says, you're all set. You're gonna love my new flawless finish powder. Tag at Kylie Cosmetics in your pics so I can see your looks. XO Kylie Jenner. So that's really cool. What's funny is that I had a separate order of the spray because I forgot it in my original order and it came with good choice. I love these products that you picked. Hope you enjoy them as much as I do, XO Kylie. So I think it's cool that she puts like two different things and it really makes it feel like she's genuinely speaking to you. But um, these are the next things. This is the Kylie Jenner setting powder that I got, loose highlighting powder, her concealer I got a lip as well and then I brought two blushes with the bronzer as well as a highlighter and then we have the setting spray right here so I'm really excited to try all of these products so we're just gonna jump right in and get started this is the Kylie concealer and this is in the shade birch this is what it looks like I'm really excited to use it and see what the formula is like this is what the doe foot applicator looks like. So I'm just going to place this underneath my eye. And I feel like in person it's coming off a bit peachy and a little darker than I would naturally use. So I'm kind of scared. But I know on the screen, it's on my monitor for some reason, it's coming off pretty like peachy like light. Let's see how it blends out. It actually didn't blend out bad like I thought it was. Like I thought it was going to be either really dark or really like salmon colored. So I want to say so far so good. I don't really have any complaints. I would say that this is medium coverage. It's not full coverage. It is a bit dewy but nothing that's like too crazy and if you didn't like the dewiness you could always set this down with powder i'm gonna put a bit more on i'm gonna put some here on the upper lip underneath the sides and on the sides of my nose and then i'm just gonna take the beauty blender and bounce it out i always beat the hell out of my face with the beauty blender so when i do my makeup around people they're like you're beating the shit out of your face I have to make sure it's in there. So how do you guys feel about it? Like, how do you feel like it looks right now? I honestly, I'm not hating it. I'm loving the shiny, the dewiness. So next is this Kylie powder, and this is in the shade Translucent. So this is the packaging on it. I honestly like the packaging. The silver letters, the black box, it's really cute. And then I love that the packages are pink. Pink is my favorite color. So I'm glad that she went for like the chic packaging and then like she went for like what's truly her. Usually I would take the sifter off, but I just got a manicure and I'm not gonna ruin it. So I'm just gonna put that in there just like that. 
Okay, I'm gonna need way more because I want to bake. Okay, yeah. So, sorry, Kylie. Have to take out the sifter. It just never works for me. This is so much easier just for me to just lightly just dab into it. Yes, so much easier. Okay, so the powder right now, I'm not sure how to feel about it. There's really nothing wrong with it, but I feel like I would gather more feelings about it when I truly bake with it when I'm done bronzing and I clean up the bottom. I'm gonna go in with the bronzer. As you can see, it says bronze on the front of the packaging and in the back, it says Kylie and then it has the shade name that I picked out and the shade name that I picked out was Tequila Tan and this is so cute. I love how it's packaged. I love the pink packaging. So now I'm kind of scared. I don't know that this will be too light for me. I was gonna go a shade darker, but I didn't know. So I'm gonna go in with that Morphe 405 in the shade Tequila Tan. I'm a little scared that it might be a little too light for me. I'm gonna tap off the excess. And then I'm just gonna bronze up the forehead. So it is doing the job. I thought that it was gonna be a little too light, but as I layer it, I do see it bronzing up my forehead. I'm gonna take this on the cheekbone area. Have you guys tried any of the Kylie Cosmetics like products yet? Or have you like, once it came out, that's when you tried it and you haven't been really trying it lately? Like, I feel like she's so known that you can't say that you haven't tried a product. Love her or hate her, you probably tried something of hers. So, that's the Kylie bronzer, and I'm gonna say that it did okay. Now I feel like I go overboard and I need to watch it. Like, tones matter. The undertone, if it's too orangey, like, I feel like this is way more healthier, cuter than what I've been doing. So we're gonna move on to blush. This is so cute. I love how bronze was written and now how it says blush. So I have the shade Crush right here. And then I did get an extra one. This is a Kylie blush as well. And this is Winter Kiss. And like I was saying, this is Crush. So Winter Kiss is really pinky. So I think I'm gonna do Crush, but I'm gonna show you both. So, packaging is so cute, I literally don't want to throw it away. Like, I want to keep it in its box forever. i open both of them for you. So, right here on my left-hand side, I have the shade Crush. And then right here, this is the shade Winter Kiss. I probably would have purchased, like, all the blushes if I was rich, one. And two, I mean, like... All the colors were really nice and I was just trying to narrow it down to what I would really wear. So peach blush and a pink blush is definitely in my wheelhouse. So I'm gonna go with this one crush, but I am just gonna see if I can swatch them for you. So this is Winter Kiss and Crush. So I'm gonna be going in with this Morphe 403 brush and this is the shade Crush by Kali Cosmetics. I'm gonna dip the brush in. Tap it. Mm. Mm. I like. At first I was like it did absolutely nothing, but look at this. And then look at this. Okay. So right now my thoughts are like, of course everyone wants to be like, oh Kylie, but she has the tips and tricks, red carpets. And I honestly feel like she's taming my makeup right now, like her products, like I go overboard and these products don't allow me to go overboard, which kind of makes me excited. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of living for this blush. And I kind of thought that I was done with powder blushes because I'm like, they're whatever, but um, this is doing it for me. I'm going to add a bit on my forehead, run it across. And on my chin. Okay. Then we can really dig deep and hit this cheek. So I was just about to get into the highlighters, but I remembered after I bronzed and blushed, I wanted to go back into the powder with this side. And 
I just want to coat the sponge. Just put a bit of it. So this just went on so much smoother and nicer than me putting it under my under eyes the way that I was doing it. I was literally going to write this powder off and say that I didn't like it, but this is kind of smoothing now. So this is my attempt of snatching my nose and baking. So I'm gonna let this bake for a little and while I do, we're gonna go back into this Kylie palette and we're gonna do the lower lash line. I'm gonna take this Morphe M431 brush and I'm gonna just dip into this shade right here and this is the shade Peachy. And I'm gonna bring it close to my lash line. Guys, this look is just coming together. Then I'm going to take Sorbet with that M433 brush and I'm just smoking out the bottom underneath what we just did. I filled in my lower lash line, I put mascara on, and I dusted away the translucent powder. So this is what I have to say so far. I'm just going to like zoom you in so you understand me. Right here is very dry and like I can see through. And then my nose has the same texture that it does here. And right here, it's drying as well. And I don't feel like my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Flawless Powder does that. Or my Cover FX Powder. But I do have to say, just, just a bit drying. So I'm going to be going in with her Kylie Spray. I feel like my skin is just a bit dry. And normally before I go in with a highlighter, I do put it on a spray. So this is the bottle. It's very cute. Packaging on this stuff is really great. From the packaging that it comes in and the packaging that is holding the product. So beautiful. I have to say that. This is really cute. The back of it says application tips. Gently shake the bottle. Hold at arm's length and spray two to three times to mist all over the face. So, really cool. I'm going to shake it up like it says. I'm going to spray away. So, arms and right in front of you. So, nope. So, I sprayed more than it said to. And I do have dots all over my face, but that could be my fault for okay wait don't stain my face don't stain my face okay so i thought that i was gonna love the spray but right now first impressions it is not for me i feel like it took off some of my makeup and left spots and then when i try to do what i normally do is take the morphe sponge and i dab in the product of any spray that i normally spray and it started just taking away my makeup like especially here like i'm so scared i'm not a fan of the spray right now like honestly this pro it smelt so good so good i wish there was 4d and you can smell it honestly it smells so good that's the only compliment i can give it right now so next i'm gonna go into cheers darling and i'm gonna take this highlighting brush so the highlighter is not bad at all it's looking you and you know what I was gonna say at first I was gonna say it's not blinding me but I don't think that Kylie goes for a blinding highlight she wants you to see it's there wants you to see that it is glowing and cute but nothing like too beaming and bright this does look really pretty on the skin I do have to say this highlight is nice I feel like it's not doing too much I'm not beaming but I'm still glowing still giving you highlight realness 
this is my favorite place to highlight the bridge of my nose this is looking really cute i do the cupid's bow and then lastly the chin area so i'm feeling so much better with this highlight on do you see that oh it's so beautiful i'm definitely loving this highlight but i do want to show you last but not least this loose highlighter so i definitely don't need it because this is literally beautiful but i do want to show you this i'm like scared to pour some in the cap but i'm gonna So I literally poured the tiniest amount, literally poured the tiniest amount as you can see. I'm gonna dip my brush in, the same brush that we used. I'm gonna tap it off. Literally, like, I have no words. That was a lot. Oh my God. That was literally nothing in the cap. Oh my god. That's literally the highlighter. And then this is the loose highlighter. My god. It's beyond glowy. Like a little bit goes such a long way. So this is with that extra glow. And this is with just the highlight. And the thing that I love about the highlight is it is a soft glow like a nice gleam and you can still get away with seeing the shine and it's not so much but this so as you can see this highlight definitely packs a punch holy crap like look at that do you see this It's literal craziness. So crazy. I'm in love. So next, I'm going to be taking this Honeymoon Lip Liner by Morphe. It looks a bit crusty, and that just makes me really upset because I feel like that's the powder. I actually love Honeymoon as a lip liner. Cute. This little combo that's going on right now is very cohesive. So next, I have this Kylie Velvet Lip. And this is in the shade Birthday Suit. So I'm gonna take that out. It's actually lighter than I expected. I thought this was gonna be more of a dark brown, like what I lined my lips with. But, oh, I, I actually really like the color a lot. And I wonder if a velvet lips dry down So with the Velvet Matte Formula, I realized that it doesn't dry out. It gives me that, like, I can still move my lips around, and it does transfer. So I don't mind the transfer at all. I honestly like this kind of consistency and this formula for the Velvet Lip way better than the matte lips. It just is really comfortable, and it allows me to move my lips around. So... I honestly have to say, like, for this makeup, I'm in love with the skin. I'm in love with the glow. The I have to say, like, the blush, I can't even stop staring in the monitor. The blush looks good. The bronzer looks good. The highlight is so good. And this lip, like, it did it for me. Like, I would definitely order more velvet matte lips. So my final thoughts would be, let's start from eyeshadow. They're okay. Um, the mattes aren't too buttery and creamy, but they work well and I have no complaints. I would say that the concealer, medium coverage, beautiful finish. I love the way that it blended out. The bronzer, the blush, and the highlight, honestly, would recommend to anyone. They're so beautiful, so creamy. They glide on so nice. I love the undertone of the bronzer. I usually feel like I go overboard and this was just like the perfect amount. And finally, the velvet lip. I love the velvet lip. This is so comfortable on my lips. 
her matte lips are very drying and it's just too much for me and I feel like it's crusting and when I apply it again it just feels like there's another layer and it's coming off and I'm just not a fan of it but this velvet lip is very comfortable so I definitely would get this in more shades and I'm excited to see what shades they're in but for me the two products that didn't work would be her spray and her powder the powder was too drying for me and the spray I got spray droplets on me and when I try to pat it out with the beauty blender it just took off my makeup and it scared me and I didn't think that I could revive this look but I did and it came out so nice I'm so proud of it I love it and I'm so happy that I dabbled in these products I didn't think that I was gonna like everything but for the most part I really love her products and I would recommend them to you so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.